Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you all my top tips of how to pass your driving test. Well, how I pass my driving test with these tips, like they honestly really helped. So I am parked in the middle of like nowhere. It's not really in the middle of nowhere. There's like a pharmacy, but it's a place where no one can see me like filming. But there's a taxi driver that's literally just pulled up aside, but who cares? So I've just wrote all my notes down on this book and hopefully these tips can help you guys because like I said, they helped me on my test. So let's get on with it. So my top number one tip is to have an early night before you actually have your driving test, especially if your test is like in the morning, like 8 a.m. You need to get sleep because it they'll make your mind like more focused you'll have more concentration obviously your brain needs sleep to function so yeah literally put your phone away like just lock it away just be like i've got my test like goodbye phone whatever and then go sleep at like 12 a.m the latest i would say like no more than that because that will really like mess up yourself and i know people like overthink things and think on the night but just try to not do that like my test was four minutes past 10 in the morning i went to sleep at around 10 30 which it helped and i got it by eight o'clock and i felt wide awake and ready for my test so yeah i would recommend that tip number two is to eat an hour before you have your driving test so this will obviously help settle your stomach because obviously you'll be nervous so it'll make you feel a bit sick but if you eat it'll help your stomach like i said like and obviously you don't want like your gargling sound um to be when you're actually driving because it'll also put you off and you don't want that so basically i ate a banana at eight o'clock in the morning which it was two hours before my test but it was still good so i ate a banana because apparently bananas are meant to calm your nerves and i kind of feel like that's true like it, something did calm my nerves it might have been the banana it might have not have been but yeah i ate a banana it worked so eat before your test tip number three is when you arrive at your test take deep breaths like seriously the help because like i don't know what it is but like when you breathe in through your nose and out your mouth it just calms your nerves and honestly it works like i know i'm saying this a lot of time like it works it works but it, honestly all these things that i've got here do they work so just in and out your mouth and it feels like nice i don't know it just feels nice and like your nerves and your stomach feeling like goes away like your horrible stomach feeling like sicky it works honestly it goes away and also with that before you go on your test think positive don't think oh my god i'm gonna feel like i haven't done this i did this bad in my previous like lesson before like no don't think that think i'm gonna pass i'm good at driving i'm good at this i'm good at that like i'm going to pass just think positive i'm being emotional emotional speaker what's it called a motivational speaker there so yeah guys literally and tip number four is go to the toilet i on my test i needed the toilet before but i didn't want to go to the inside the place so i just waste waited um but when i was actually on my test i really needed the toilet and it kind of put me off but i was more concentrating on the road so the thought of going to the toilet went away but literally don't be me go to the toilet um, even if you don't need it just go to the toilet see if anything's gonna come out <laughs> but literally um yeah go to the toilet i don't know what else more to say on that but go to the toilet number five is treat the test like a driving lesson because obviously when you're with the person your instructor that you know you're gonna feel calm because you kind of know them but it doesn't really matter like just treat it like a test like i mean a, a lesson because when you're driving you don't really look at your instructor so you're just more concentrating so just treat it like that just be like oh, okay like it doesn't mean anything just yeah think positive treat it like a lesson and it, it okay so tip number six is going to be when you're on your test anticipate everything that's going to happen so think like plan ahead like I've, i'd be driving and there's a bicycle person just think oh this bicycle person can pull out anytime onto the road so just drive carefully and watch them all the time and don't get too close that's what I, that's what planning ahead is like plan ahead oh you're gonna be going straight but there's a car coming out of a junction make sure that they've seen you and they're not gonna come out like cut in front of you or whatever anticipate ahead it helps a lot because obviously it means that you're being more aware of the things that's gonna happen and it keeps you and the person safe and it just keeps you safe if you're driving alone for the first time it'll keep you safe if you anticipate ahead tip number seven is do not assume anything don't assume that you failed your test don't assume that when the examiner is writing something down that it's wrong because more likely like when they've pulled you over 
they're going to write it down and be like, okay, I've pulled you over. So they know, like, when you say pull up to the left and drive on when you're ready. So that's what um, you need to do. Like, don't assume anything. Don't assume that they're marking you down for a fault because it might not be. If you did um, assume things, it might mess up your concentration you might be overthinking things in your head instead of concentrating on the road which is completely wrong so yeah definitely do not assume things i honestly i know a lot of people will assume things because you're going to be nervous and things like just don't do it like i'll do it a little bit because i think it's like a hard one to say because i think people do assume things but try to do it less and just try to get the thoughts out of your head so tip number eight is uh, don't be distracted by what the examiner is doing so obviously like i've said the examiner is going to be writing things down like when you've been pulled over when you've done your maneuver if you've done the emergency stop they're going to mark it down so they know that they've told you to do that and and like i said it's not always going to be a fault so really just ignore what they're doing because they could be writing good things down as well not just bad and tip number nine is to not think of the past don't if you think you've done a fault don't think of it don't dwell on it literally just continue think of the present think of the future in your test like think of what's going to happen again linking to think of anticipation like plan ahead think like that just ignore if you've done a fault literally because it could just be a minor fault not a serious so ignore it honestly and the last tip that I have for you guys is obviously to have um, a lesson before your actual test. It's normally a one hour lesson just to go over the manoeuvres or anything that you don't feel comfortable with. Uh, you will feel comfortable, but like you need a little bit more just to be like, oh yeah, I can still do it. Like roundabouts maybe, spiral roundabouts, going on the, the faster roads, like the um, the A roads. Um, just have a lesson beforehand. On my lesson beforehand, I did all the manoeuvres. I did an emergency stop and I think that was it, you know, guys. Oh, there's a new massive roundabout that's near us and I went on there just to like, make sure I could like know what I'm doing because they don't have traffic lights on it right now because they're obviously getting it done. So you have to give away like a lot. So I just did that and I felt comfortable with it and I actually did go on that on my driving test. So yeah, guys, literally that's all the tips that I've got for you today and I hope that they help you with your lesson. I mean, with your actual tests, guys, because it's because the police are going past, they're going to look awkward look. But anyways, yeah, guys, so if you like the video and like the video, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye!